Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we're going to talk about a security flaw that affects Secure Boot. Uh, and at the same time, we're going to talk about what's Secure Boot, how to check if yours is on or not. And um, we're going to explain the differences when it's on or not, what uh, is actually, what does it mean for your security. So uh, first of all, Secure Boot is a feature that's uh, available in PCs uh, that is actually um, a security feature. It requires signatures to be available to prove that when the boot process happens that the bootloader is actually clean and correct. That means that when it's on, you need to have an officially signed bootloader that will confirm that it's intact by the manufacturer, by Windows, and so on. Now, that secure boot feature is a feature that is often turned off for multiple reasons. And one of them is if you boot other systems on your computer, like Linux distros, fortunately, most Linux distros uh, do not have any um, boot uh, secure boot keys to kind of prove who they are. So that's why it's often turned off. And in many PCs, it's actually off even though you have it available. And in my case, that's what's happening here on my PCs. Um, so if it's off, that means that you are vulnerable to some attacks that could actually exploit the boot process of Windows in which malware is there at the beginning. And if it's on, well, you're kind of protected. But there's a security flaw this month that is fixed with a in the Windows update. And that fixes what is called the Black Lotus UEFI uh, malware flaw. It's a zero day. It is already apparently exploited in the wild. And what happens is that they inject in... The, there's a, a flaw, a security flaw in the secure boot that lets that code inject itself, which means even if you're fully patched with Patch Tuesday, now that Black Lotus UEFI can infect your Windows even though it's fully patched. Why? Because you're just booting from malware directly. And um, so they actually issued a, a fix that will prevent this for secure boot. Now, if you want to know if Secure Boot is enabled on your PC, what you could do is go into the search and type msinfo32. So msinfo32 and press enter. It's going to bring you a panel. It's the system information panel. Here, you can check Secure Boot state. And as you see here on my computer, it's off. And it's off because there's no keys that have been attributed to this particular PC. So in my case, that's why it's off. But it is available. Now you might think, well, isn't Windows 11, you know, don't, does Windows 11 is supposed to have Secure Boot to actually upgrade or work? Well, the minimum requirement of Windows 11 is not that you are actually using Secure Boot. It's only that it's available. So it will check if your PC is capable of secure boot. If it is, even if it's off, Windows 11 is going to work. And it's not going to complain. Why? Because all it wants is to check if it's available. Secure boot is available in the UEFI BIOS. And of course, that's where you need to enable it when you want to enable the uh, secure boot feature. If yours is on, well, you're more secure than people that have it off because only signed uh, bootloaders will actually work with the secure boot feature. So that is the interesting part of it. So the exploit is going to be fixed in a few ways, basically. Um, so there are going to be updates available. There's a May 9th update today. 
then there will be, of course, um, the capability that you have to update your bootable media with Windows updates that are released after May 9th. Um, if you do not create that, um, create your own media, you will need to get the updated official media from Microsoft or your device manufacturer. Um, what's going to happen with the timeline is that May 9th is an initial fix for um, the flaw that is released. And uh, basically, it is the May 9th patch to the security updates that um, will be implemented here. On July 11th, a second release will provide additional update options to simplify the deployment of the protection. In the first quarter of 2024, next year, the final release will enable the fix and by default, an enforced boot manager revocations on all Windows devices. So this is uh, interesting. And Microsoft also warned customers there's no way to revert the changes once the um, full enforcement uh, for the mitigations will be fully deployed. So you'll be moving forward on. You can't go back. So um, this means that um, if you are using Secure Boot, all of those uh, features are going to be turned on in somewhere in early 2024 and protect you from the black uh, Lotus malware or UEFI malware. So it's a very interesting and complex feature. But um, it is uh, interesting to see that they are working on fixing the Secure Boot Zero Day vulnerability that is exploited right now um, on uh, Windows systems. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.